Okay. So now, when I make the espresso, shall I put uh, hot water inside or not? Or? So, the most yeah. very important thing is to flush the group. It means to make uh, some water go yeah. out from the coffee machine. Okay. After, you can put your filter holder on. Okay. The cup are usually kept hot temperature yeah. by the cup warmer, they are already around 45 Celsius degrees, okay. so you don't need to it with water. Okay, no? fine. So we immediately start and now I push the two espresso buttons. push button. the two espresso buttons. And now we see the result. The result of a good espresso is, uh, uh, we call uh, the brewing this must be like a rat tail. So okay. big here, fat here, and smaller in the lower part. Now we are brewing an 80-20 Arabica blend, so it's a, a sweet yes, taste yeah. coffee, it's not uh, a dark coffee, and is one of the most common blend that is sold uh, outside Italy. In Italy we drink a lot of uh, Robusta, but it's uh, another thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, really cool. So let's test the result, if it's uh, tasteable or not. Ah, excellent. Very nice. Good. Even without sugar, it's uh, the, the bitter component yeah. is more uh, in the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, because the, the, the Arabica, the high percentage yeah. of Arabica, give uh, this coffee a good taste. So the yeah. bitterness of this coffee, you don't feel it on the tongue. So yeah. it's not, uh, you don't have to cover the bitterness with the sugar, yeah. because it's, yeah. it's good. And the taste stays uh, very long in the mouth, it's uh, very intense. Okay, but uh, as you know, many people also are focused, especially in the morning, on uh, cappuccino, etc. So I'm quite interested how to use this, uh, how is it called, turbo steam or auto steam? Or uh, this feature is also uh, presented with many uh, names, turbo okay. steam or auto steam. Basically, this is a steam wand with a um, Temperature probe, yeah. so you set the temperature of the milk that is very important, never have to go over 60 degrees, because yeah. if you steam the milk over 60 degrees, the milk starts to have a bad smell and you burn the okay. milk. Therefore we also have a thermometer, especially for the testing and the adjusting to see whether the steam is working right or not. Yes, the, the, the first time that you set the machine, if you have a thermometer, you are yeah. sure about the, the set the temperature. After that, the temperature that you have set is mm. kept by the electronic. But the first time, if you want to be sure about the temperature, you can use the thermometer. Uh, in the, the real barista use the hand, so they say when the pitcher starts to become too old to be uh, touched by the hand, the temperature is enough. But if you use a thermometer, we are more sure about the result. Uh, very, another very important thing, the uh, jug and the milk must be cold, because you have to think that you have to bring the milk in temperature, and more time you have to steam the milk and better is the result because you have more time to uh, spray air into the milk so you have to ever use milk at four five degree let's say fridge temperature the pitcher must be cold and you have to start with a cold product to eat it up if you do it with hot milk it will steam in really less time like 20, 10 20 seconds but you will never have a good form so you have to take time yeah. like all good food slow food and time to so the milk needs time yeah. to have a cappuccino good foam needs small bubbles because then the surface is bigger and the taste gets transported by the surface and uh, so I, Luca I just hand you over the oh, milk thank you so uh, we consider uh, 
to because the milk when you steam it, it uh, the volume increase. We consider to start with half jug of milk to avoid the overflow of milk.